10 people are dead in wildfires that are burning out of control in Northern California. Tens of thousands of people are fleeing these raging fires. And CNN's Miguel Marquez is live in hard hit Santa Rosa, California. What's it like, Miguel? Yeah, there was a concerning uh, statistic overnight where the Sonoma County Sheriff's Office had 100 calls for people who may be missing. So they are afraid that the death toll of this fire is going to go up. I want to show you, Allison, this is what is left of a Hilton resort in Sonoma. Uh, it was on a hillside. The entire uh, hotel, from what we can tell, went up. This is right smack in the middle of wine country here. Uh, Santa Rosa hit very, very hard. Some 1,500 structures destroyed this area. We have a before and after of Coffee Park. It's a neighborhood here in Santa Rosa, and you can see what a lovely neighborhood it was before. And then this fast-moving wildfire uh, fueled by wind went right through it and completely devastated the area. So far in California, 120,000 acres are burning. In Anaheim, south of Los Angeles, several hundred miles from here to the south, uh, there's a fire burning 5,000 acres plus. It looked like hell on earth as a wind was blowing that fire up the, the neighborhoods there. Several homes went up uh, in flames. Thousands more are now threatened. The only good news, if there is good news, because lots and lots of firefighters, tens of thousands of firefighters trying to get a hold of these fires across the state, is that the wind has died down. It was blowing about 50 miles per hour on this time last night. That was driving the fire. The humidity is also expected to go up. Chris? All right, Miguel, listen, be careful out there. We see you've got the mask on. You know, you don't feel it in the moment, but you keep inhaling that smoke. Uh, it's going to shorten your day. So be safe, take care of the crew, and keep us Indeed. up to date on what's going on, my friend. I mean, look at how close the flames are to him right behind there. Right, and that's backfire, you know what I mean? So they, they light a fire behind uh, the line of where it's going so right. that the that's fire can only right. advance so right. much. But, um, you know, it's, it's hard to cover those things. It's hard to fight them as firefighters, and they are so weather dependent. So we're going to keep an eye on that situation because even though it's several hundred miles away from the big population center, that can really change in about 36 hours. So we'll stay on that. Another big story this morning.